Hi there, welcome to the SAI Intelligence Conference 2015. We are looking into uh, artificial intelligence and intelligent systems here and how they apply to the real world out there. And with me is one of the speakers today, Hans-Georg Zimmermann. Uh, if you want to see the full length of his speech, please go to the website of the SAI organization uh, or go to the SAI Conference YouTube channel and sign up there. Um, Hans-Georg, welcome. Um, can you tell me what was the bottom line of your speech today? So, <coughs> I started New Network Works 27 years ago, which means a lot of the stories which were going on there is part of my life. And uh, I look at the subject from the viewpoint of a mathematician, which means I look at the understanding of it, not only at the simple, simple application. So. Uh, a focus for me always was to say I like to study complex dynamical systems. And this is something you could do 27 years ago, you can do it today, and you will be able to do it in 50 years. It always is a challenge because the dimensionality of the systems will increase, the, the nonlinearity of the systems you have to study is increasing, and therefore it's something you can do for a real part of your life. So you kind of chose a lifelong path 27 yes, years ago. Absolutely. Yeah. And absolutely. Wh wh where is that path leading us? Wh wh how, how can we apply what you are doing to our daily lives? So the forecast, see, when, when, whenever you have observations, these observations alone are not helping you because observations are part of the past. Past is over, that's all. But now you have to transfer the observations from the past to a model, which means to an understanding of what's going on there. And then by such a model, you can generate uh, an insight in the future, which is a forecast. And then from this you can do, you can plan optimal decisions, optimal behavior, because the optimality of your behavior is shown by uh, in the future I will have a positive result of what I'm doing here. But by, by uh, looking at neural uh, uh, networks, yeah. you are building a crystal ball here. You can call it, some years ago uh, uh, a person asked me, what is the difference between the Oracle of Delphi and your system? My answer to this was, if in 3,000 years our system is so well known as the Oracle of Delphi now, then I'm happy. Okay. And you work with Siemens. Yes. Um, you apply your work there. How does this benefit Siemens? See, uh, the understanding of dynamical systems is a general topic. You can apply it to technical applications, machine control, forecasting in renewable energies, all of this. And you can apply it in, on the economical side. On the economical side, you have demand forecast, which is important for the planning of the production. You have price forecast, which is uh, important for the purchase department. Mm -hmm. in, in, in demand forecasting, you have to forecast volume, volume of things. How many things you have to produce in the next three months. In price forecasting, you have to forecast the development of something over time to tell the purchase department, aha, it, it's better to buy in two weeks, not now. Okay. And how does your forecasting system work? What is the basis under it? The basis on it is that uh, we look at a part of the world, not only at one time series, but we look at the environment of a time series in the world. See, if you, if you speak about copper price, then you do not have to look at copper alone, but you have to look around the whole metal market to, uh, to see the embedding of the copper price development in, in the other variables. And then with this, uh, uh, let's say, a dozen or two dozen of variables, you have a picture of this part of the world which then should help you to understand something about the underlying development and the forecast. In your speech you said uh, if something is complicated, you need to look at the reasons why it's complicated yeah. before you can solve yeah, it. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, okay. Glad I understood that part. <laughs> um, if you look at the future, you will keep on building on your system. You chose a lifelong path here. Okay. Uh, where will this take you? What will be your next challenge? So my, uh, my understanding or my vision of all of it is a better understanding of the method side. See, as a mathematician, you look at the world uh, from the viewpoint of 
method development. Uh, other people are more in the uh, in the interest of the application solving. And you have to develop both sides in parallel to each other. We have to attack more and more complicated ap applications by uh, developing more and more reasonable methods so that we can attack these applications. Mm -hmm. So my focus obviously is on the method side. And if you look at artificial intelligence, intelligent systems, where will they take the world in a few years' time? They will uh, allow us to do decisions in environments where many variables are important. See, we as humans, we have a tendency to cook down all the decisions to only one or two deci decision variables. And then we say, because this variable is going up or down, I have to do this and this. Mm -hmm. But the real world is not the way. The real world is the way that many variables are interacting. And therefore, if we want to do more and more reasonable decisions, we should uh, think like the real world is acting anywhere. How many variables will there be in the real world? Is it millions or trillions or? So uh, <laughs> to cook it down to something which is handleable, let's say hundreds. Okay, thank you, hundreds. We will manage that. Well, great, this, this um, about neural networks. If you want to see the full speech of Hans-Georg Zimmermann or want to read his PowerPoints or want more information on the conference, please go to the conference website or go to the Sci Conference YouTube channel and see all the material that is there. Thank you.